back to the broadcast. Well, if you've spent any time in Texas, you'll remember the once very popular restaurant chain, oh, my favorite, Steak and Ale. Well, guess what? You are about to hear it here first, that they are coming back. And they are celebrating their comeback and announcing it. We've got Paul Mangiamelli. He is the man who is behind it all. And he is behind the revival, also, of Bennigan's. Welcome back to the show. It's so good it to see you. It is so nice to take a break from bringing these brands back to come over to see three beautiful women. <laughs> We thank you for doing that. Now, we um, we were sitting here just reminiscing here for a second about, I remember Steak and Ale being one of the first fancy steakhouses that my parents took me to yes. as a child. And we were talking about the salad right. bar right. and the bread and all of that. Tell us about this comeback. Well, first of all, the stories that you've been telling me all morning <laughs> talks to the resilience of the brand, the emotional connection that almost everybody has with the brand. And it's the same with Bennigan's. And so when I saw that, that overwhelming emotional connection. I said, well, we got to bring uh, back Steak and Ale now because yes. Bennigan's has been so widely received around the world. And uh, we're opening at a clip about one restaurant per month uh, on the Bennigan side. So Steak and Ale, we've been working on it uh, for the last uh, year and a half, two years. And we're showing kind of a mock-up of kind of what Right, that's our rendering of the new prototype. Like. So okay. it's going to be very hip, very cool. And we're going to take the, the vestiges of the original Steak and Ale because I still think that that history is important. Yes. Because it was kind of that, I remember it, maybe I'm wrong, but as a child, it was kind of a white tablecloth. I remember thinking it was really fancy when my parents dim would lighting, take me there. Dimmer well, lighting. when you're five years old, of course, you're going to think this. <laughs> but you know, it's more curious. fancy than like, let's say like an Outback or something like that. It seems so very buttoned up. And right. I, I think that's what people love about it. it. Nice buttoned up, but not stuffy. And right. that's what, that was what was great about it. And of course, it was one of the first uh, uh, casual dining uh, st steak restaurants that had a salad bar. Oh yeah, and, and it that was salad fantastic. Bar is was legendary. The best. And we're bringing that back, but we're also going to bring back table service with uh, uh, the old. Remember the old Caesar salads that were done table side. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you know there was a little bit of flair, a little bit of entertainment, mm -hmm. great service, which unfortunately is an anomaly today. So I think there's a heartening back to you know the art and the science of service and good food and good ambiance, good music, and, and a good time and, and a good Paul, value for the money. So we have a, a pretty good market for it. Is that what you look for, like just from a business perspective, what does it take to, to take a brand like that and bring it back from the brink just like you did with Bennigan's? Well, you have to study the DNA. And so there's this great entrepreneurial DNA in the franchise side, which is going to be a franchise model for, for Steak and Ale, but also the DNA of, uh, again, good food. Uh, and, and here was the centerpiece was the steak. And so there's an array of steaks without having to pay so much money, like in some of these higher end steak places. Mm -hmm. I want to I bring it to the masses. So we want to really bring it into the, the casual dining segment. And uh, understanding your, your customer, I think, it, would be. Exactly. So, so it can be families again. Right. And right. they can enjoy a great dinner. And right. they can en uh, enjoy a great experience, yet not have to pay so much money for it. Right. Now, y'all are opening. The first location is going to be in Florida, correct? The first franchise location okay. will be in Panama City with our existing Bennigan's uh, franchisee, David Hollinger. But here in Dallas, we're going to open up the first corporate store. So what I'm looking for right now, and I have several discussions going on for uh, ground up, so it's not a conversion. Right. It's something we're just going to build so the prototype can be seen uh, around the world from uh, from here, from Dallas. And uh, we're looking for side-by-side -side Bennigan's and Steak and Ale uh, okay. in the Dallas area. So I don't know exactly where yet because there's a lot of people that want, actually developers that want them. And I think for us to introduce it, we've got to have AAA+. Plus and this is so exciting, I think, for people that are a fan of the brand and have been a fan of the brand. That dates all the way back to the 1960s is when the very first Steak and Ale yeah, 40, opened. 40, almost 50 years. Wow. And so the resilience of a great brand is just amazing. If and, you need uh, any taste testers, the three yeah, of us are more than very happy to come in. Well, and the helping. break and bad guy, I mean, he's a starving <laughs> artist, so I think we're going to feed him first, okay? Let me ask you, are you going to have the loaves of bread, the little hot loaves that y'all had? Absolutely. If I was in high school, that's where we went before prom and, high, and homecoming as we went to stay. That was like a fancy restaurant and we would go and partake in all that bread and the salad and it was divine. I love so it. If you need us, we'll be there for you. 
Absolutely. We never have problems <laughs> no problem. eating around here. And we're so excited that you chose to come to the broadcast first to announce this really exciting yep. comeback that y'all are doing. You guys treated me with such great hospitality last time. I had to do it here. I had well, to do it here. thank you. We are so excited to see where the first location is going to land. And you guys, if you I'll want more... i just have to come back. Yep. I know, you will. If you want more information about getting involved in the rebirth of a really great restaurant, just go to Steak and Ale Comeback page. It's on Facebook, and they've got close to 20,000 fans already. We've posted a link to that on our site, which is thebroadcasttv.com for you. Okay, you guys, January is the month to sticking to new resolutions and healthy beginnings, right? And when we return, we are in the kitchen with a tasty recipe that you can actually feel good about eating. Thank you. You're so good.